So in today's video, I'm going to show you the, a new tool that can be used to uh, perform reconnaissance while you are hunting for bugs or while you are doing a penetration testing for a company. So before going into this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can hack JWT tokens, then I recommend you to go ahead and check them out. The link will be given, given in the description as well as you can see it right on the right side of the screen. Now let's get started. But before going into this video, so I need to make an announcement that currently I'm running two courses on Udemy. The first one is hacking Windows with Python from scratch where you will learn how to hack Windows machine using Python and how to create actual malware or actual tool that can be used to hack Windows machine without detectable by any antiviruses till now. You will learn how to uh, bind payloads to different file like PDF, like maybe a MP3 or MP4 file and you will learn more things later on from basics to advanced. And the second course which I am running on Udemy is Bug Bounty The Ultimate Guide to Hunt Account Takeovers. In this particular course, I have shown you guys that how we can perform account takeovers on live website. So everything is from basics to advanced where you will, you will learn what is account takeover, uh, what is the method, what is the methodology that you can use to hunt account takeovers and then we are going to proceed and we will see uh, account takeover on live websites and so on. So go ahead and check them out if you want to and finally let's get started. Also for those who are new to our channel and if you don't know about our website so we should go ahead and check out our website which is bepractical.tech where you'll find awesome labs related to cyber security as well as web development so as you can see currently in the web development section we have front end challenges uh, which will be which can be used to increase your uh, UI UX development skills and the second one is cyber where we currently have account takeover labs on which you can try and learn uh, different account takeover challenges you can try to solve them and you can increase your bug bounty skills from there now with that being said finally let's get started so in today's video we are going to learn that how we can extract all urls from uh, passive sources right so you can have multiple sources like wayback machine like uh, crawl.io etc right and we are going to use a new tool new tool that has come out recently in uh, maybe 10 to 15 days before which is a great tool which can be used to find uh, which, which can be used to find different endpoints related to a particular domain so the tool name is katana so let me type it for you guys so you just need to type katana and just after that type github and you will be redirected to this particular page right so it is just developed uh, seven days ago and it is an awesome tool which can be used to crawl links from a given domain now to uh, use this tool in your machine you need to clone this out so let me open this new tab and don't worry this link will be given in the, in the description so you can go ahead and directly just clone it in your machine now as you can see we have this tool so katana so it is also a, a reference to a japanese word katana which means a sword basically right so this is an awesome tool as you can see over here so we have to use it something like this minus u flag for the url and we have to provide the url and we'll just crawl it the links for us as you can see over here these are so many links and it, it is actually very fast the standard and headless mode support it can also pass javascript it can be used uh, it can be customizable for automatic form failure etc it can be used to control the scope customizable output and we have these many features right so let's try to install this in our machine so the first thing that we need to do is we need to clone this so i'm just going to open kali linux machine and let me just open it real quick and by the way if you don't know how to install kali linux on windows machine then go ahead and watch my this video which is appearing on the screen to learn how to install it without the help of vmware or virtualbox so let me clear this out and the first thing that we need to do so let me create another folder so let's say a uh, test and let me go to the test folder as you can see and now let's type git clone and let's paste this particular link okay so i have not copied it yet let me just copy it and let me paste it over here and let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see the file has been cloned now the second important thing that we need to do is we need to install go programming language in our machine and to do to do this we can just type to sudo apt install go lang and minus y provide your sudo root password 
and it will just start installing right so as you can see it is installing golang in our machine so it's going to take some time depending on your internet connection so let us wait for now yeah so i already have the previous version installed in my machine so i'm not going to update it as of now so you need to install this if you don't have go language in your machine and it will take some time so the file size is about 81 mb so don't worry about that and after installing golang just clear this and just move to the folder that we have just cloned over here just go to the cmd folder go to katana just clear this and here we are so this is the main file that we need to build to build this file we need to type the command go build main.go and hit enter and again it's going to take some time as it is downloading some files from the internet now over here as you can see the file has been compiled successfully and we have now the bytecode or the executable code right now we can use this particular code to execute our command to execute this tool so to execute this tool we can just type main hit enter and as you can see the tool has been executed successfully right now let us try to specify the minus h flag so that we can understand the functionality of this particular tool in more depth so as you can see it is offering huge configuration huge uh, features for the users right so as you can see we have to provide the input so it is compulsory minus u for the url or we can pass a list of strings right and we have this many of parameters minus t to depth to crawl the default is 2 we can increase it as per we want minus jc to enable endpoint passing or crawling in the javascript file so it will start crawling from the javascript source code as well minus ct to maximum duration of to crawl the target for minus mrs minus timeout minus retry even minus proxy if the application is blocking you from further testing minus h to specify custom headers minus config Uh, minus headless and so many things right for now let us focus on the basic things so the first important thing is minus u the second thing could be but it is optional minus jc to pass from the javascript code itself and we have the most important pipe part minus o to uh, save the output file right so let's combine all of these flags to use this tool so you can just type main minus u and let's say for example uh hacker1.com for example and let's say minus o and let's specify the file hacker1.txt and let's hit enter and let's see what happens after that okay so it's not working because we haven't supplied the url as you can see over here we have just supplied the domain name and to supply the url itself we need to type https the protocol itself and it should work now Yeah, as you can see, it started working. Now it has crawled these many URLs. As you can see over here, these many URLs have been crawled within a fraction of seconds, right? So over here, if we enable minus JC, it should also start passing in the JavaScript code itself. So let us see. Okay, so as you can see, we got few extra uh, URLs over here. as you can see here we don't have any php file but if you check over here we got a php file we've got some more uh, links right and we can also increase the depth of it so minus t and instead of 2 we know that the minimum uh, the ma the default value of d depth is 2 right we can just pass 4 and let's see what happens we should be able to get more links right just just wait and yeah as you can see more link has been crawled now So it is still getting crawled. So I hope you have understood that uh, how we can use this particular order, right? So we we can see there are so many URLs that it is currently passing, currently showing it back to us. And if I stop this now, if I type ls, you can see we have this file hacker one dot txt. And if I see the file, as you can see, we have these many URLs saved into hacker one dot txt, right? So we can go ahead and we can test all of these uh, endpoints for multiple vulnerabilities like maybe uh, sensitive data exposure, um, open redirection, IDOS, etc. Right. So I hope that you have understood that how we can use this particular tool to find 
to find endpoints if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to comment your doubt in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trend and technologies going on into cyber security as well as web development and even if you want to discuss something so we, you can just join the link join the group and we can discuss it over there now with that being said thanks for watching